I think that's a good uh, balance side, uh, considering the fact that the Indian uh, captain Saurav Ganguly is not in there. I think this is one of the balance sides we have here. And that's the Australian side. Well, some changes there for Australia. Nathan Bracken in, uh, Brad Williams in, of course, Lee Gillespie, McGrath not here. So that uh, experience at the top of the batting order, not so much with the bowling, and that's maybe where this game's decided. Well, Danny Morrison thinks so. Maureen De Sewag and Sachin Tindulka, the two pocket rockets of this Indian batting lineup, and they will present a significant challenge in the opening bowling of Australia. Big, tall left-hander from New South Wales. Maureen De Sewag, he doesn't leave much in the bag, strike rate. Then the master. That's absolutely outstanding. That's top of the tree. That is the master class. And he was just sneaking back into form, Madras. Here we go. Bracken to Tendulka. Bracken to say that. And not a lot of carry there. Down on the uh, fine leg boundary. He'll probably get the new ball. And that's it. You've got a terrific catch. Bracken strikes. That is an absolutely magic catch. Dash at this one. Moving away. Feet not up to the ball. Head was too high and what a great catch that is. That's a wicket for Brecken. He looks very happy there. W one for one. And in comes a VBS Latchman. A man who has been in form in the test matches. Two slips and a backward point. Fairly standard forward. Good start for Williams and a watchful start from Tendulka. <laughs> Williams straight enough to make him defend. Well, he's not had a very good test series, Sachin Tendulka, so probably that's why he's a little over cautious. That suggests that it could be anybody in the world, the greatest uh, batsman in the world, but if you don't get runs in a couple of innings at international level, you could be under pressure. And he's off the mark through the covers. This will test the speed of the outfield. Also, Tim Dooker's timing, and that will pull up. And Harvey has the chase. There wasn't much wrong with that delivery, but uh, a lovely way to get off the mark. International. He stroked that well, Sachin Tendulkar. I'm sure he wouldn't mind uh, timing the ball well the way he's done here, but it goes straight to the fielder. Yeah, in the previous over, Simons was rushing in hard. He's got some extra protection. It won't help that, any sort of protection. That'll be the first boundary of the day's play. India, eight for one. But the last delivery, and he plays it through that area. I mean, what happens, I think, at this stage, when you have seven feet on the onside, Sachin Tendulkar was already moving there to get behind the ball. He knew exactly where he was going to pitch. There he is. Thank you very much. BBS off the mark. Just a single there. Michael Bevins with the job of just trotting around and mid-on. Once again, off the back foot through the covers. Will they settle for one? Well, I thought they might have been two there, but they just... Bracken to Tendulkar, back foot, offside, four. Great shot. Great player. Picked it up so early, Sachin Tendulkar. Here's entertainment for the crowd here. The 30,000 people that are present here. That's what they want from Sachin Tendulkar's blade. This one rising higher than what Sachin Tendulka expected. Such a lovely adjustment there from the little master. That's why this man has more than 12,000 runs in one-day internationals. That's more like the line. Bracken has definitely been bowling with too much width during the test series. What a great shot that is. Lovely shot between the bowler and the stumps. 
this is one shot any batsman in the world would really enjoy playing. The first ball, Bracken pitches up. It comes back at him almost as fast. Tall man, can't get down to this. Ooh, that got past pretty quick. Neil Mallinder just got out of the way himself. Uh, the straight drive, one of the joys of the game. Once again, not a, not a bad ball from Bracken by any stretch of the imagination. But terrific stroke. 18 for one. in quickly prevents the single circles not, not the big one we can see there but the little 14 yard circles with the dots on them must have two inside those for the first 15 overs one of those is the first slip and the other is pointing is right on the edge of the inner mark circles and that's in the air for a little while but beast pointing well they get two Lashman turns for two and then he's sent back At least he was looking for the second there, there, Maninda. And Tendulkar sent him back. I think what Vivius Lakshman should realise here is the outfield is play pretty heavy. He's timed the ball well, so he was thinking that he's going to carry, but the outfield, as you said, it was heavy. doesn't really carry. And this one through the gap. Now, that's why he didn't take two. He wants to strike. <laughs> Another terrific shot. His ability to pick the gaps in the field is just uncanny. Now it was only four, Ricky. That's the wrong line to bowl uh, to Sachin Tendulkar. Now you're giving him room to free his arms. What is he going to do? Massacre you. Right from the sweetest part of the blade, Sachin Tendulkar. He's looking good. And as you said, probably that's why he didn't want to go for the second. The other bowlers. Now the short cover is come over to a shorty square leg so Bracken might bowl a little straighter he does it and he nearly paid the penalty but Potting saves another boundary with a superb piece of feeling India 24 for one national in Hindi Aaron Mull will be joined by Maninda Singh Ricky Ponting absolutely brilliant there in that short extra cover position on a Sunday. Looking to play straight and on the up. He's read the pitch early. Sachin Tendulkar, there's hardly any movement off the pitch. The, the big planes flying in. He's gone quickly to find Lake. He saved up two runs for his side. 27 for one. Nathan Bratton, uh, deep find Lake, doing a good job. Getting his long body outstretched and that was flying to his final leg. He's really been a four for the Indian. Just gets the two for it. Something that the Indians have to be mindful of. BBS Lakshman off the hips gets his first boundary. Super piece of timing. Just been going on about this outfield, how slow it is, how dense and bushy in a way. It's just incredible how spongy and thick this almost like a big carpet out there. Heavy shag pile. It should be another boundary, is it? No, it's slowing down. Quickly slowing down, in fact. You're quite right. This is such a rare outfield in India. It's not too bad inside the circle where the ball tends to travel quickly. Just as it gets close to the ropes, a lot more bushy and thick. See, Melbourne, they bounce a foot higher, a lot of movement off the pitch. At the moment, being carted around is Dan De Bickle, 35 for one. Another image of the bat on the pitch. This is just a batting beauty. India have to get close to 300 to feel comfortable. And of course, with fielding like that, it's not going to be easy. No, it's not. I just don't think you'd ever feel comfortable against Australia because uh, their batting depth and their mental toughness, I believe, with the Australians set them apart from any other side in the world. They're very committed. They throw themselves around. That's for his best shot of the innings. 
that's gone quickly to the fence on a slow outfield will give you an idea how well timed it was and the bowler was just uh, demonstrating how he fell away in his action and pushed it and it really asked to be dispatched and VVS Laxman no second invitation and loves it there off his hip but it really did ask to go there and he knows oh! we went for this the wee fella Tendulkar gave it plenty so if he made contact with that, it would have gone very quickly to the fence. But a good length from the bowler as well. Pitched on middle. He's got that five, and that's four. There's a very square, deep square leg. But it's comfortable four for Tendulka. Not a good start for Andy Bickle. No, it's not. And having bowled a couple of good deliveries on off stump, it's just straight a little bit and very different from big grounds in Australia where those uh, can be protected at times but you can to make amends here Bickle show brings up the 50 the partnership at the, as well as the Indian totem now they're just not learning out there the Australian bowlers you cannot bowl on middle and leg stump on a surface like this to Indian players with their beautiful late wrists either bowler Here's another one. At the moment, scoring in boundaries, both Lakshman and Tendulkar. Brings the crowd alive. And rightly so. Wasn't quite the BBS, but enough. And he's a tall man, and that lovely extension through the ball. And this is such a tough baptism for uh, an Australian bowler. Never easy even for experienced senior Australian bowlers to come out and bowl well. Disappear all parts very quickly. There it goes again. Not too far from that fielder but that spec to the boundary. Well, from an impartial point of view, I'm really enjoying this. This is outstanding, helping these two players. Look at that wonderful wrist work, just a little flick. No, not great lines though from Williams. He's starting to angle in to uh, Tendulkar and Lakshman's leg stumps. And that extra pace. He's got to look for two, Tendulkar. He wants the strike. He loves Australia. 64 for one now. Bowling change has been made and is being greeted with a boundary. So the onslaught continues. Hands through the hair of Ian Harvey. Not quite the start he was looking for. And you see again it's on leg stump. Normally so disciplined the Australians. Not a good place to bowl. Not when you've got your fine leg very wide. He's... It's a lovely stroke. He's just timed this. Not quite as well as you'd like, but comfortable too. And there's such a small boundary square. And with the slow outfield, Warner would go on to bowl, but they haven't got one at the moment. That could be four. Bevan's down there. He stopped it. Good pace. Tenduka comes back from two. He's keen to keep the strike. But that ball is coming off. Tendulkar's bat just about as fast as it's leaving the bowler's hands at the moment. I think for the moment Sachin is not looking at who's bowling. He's just looking at the ball and giving it everything. He sees the opportunity to score and he's extremely good. Now he to Tendulkar. Slow ball four. 50.
the 63rd 50 in one day internationals and what an off it's been it's a bit of wrist on it and oh, look at that placement such a small margin for error when you're bowling to that man and he plays against the best he brings out the best in him Tendulkar and look at that strike rate unbelievable Fly ball again from Harvey. They'll probably pick up two. Bracken's got a long throw. Throw as well, but Harvey to Tim Dorka. Beats the field, beats the close infield. Beats Simons, but not Williams. Once again, much slower through the air, but Tendulka presents the full face of the bat. When he does that, he more or less... Look at me on one TV. Pull away. In the air. Safe. Four. Initial movement was onto the front foot. And the pickle not the quickest. Just had to swivel on his feet, transfer his weight, and get the placement right. Provide plenty of time in over year in length, especially on the shorter side on Indian pitches. And VBS Lakshman in good touch. He's picked up a few boundaries in the last few overs. They straighten up the man at mid-wicket after that last ball shot. So I'll get two. Well, we're, we're not glowing in the praise of Sachin Tendulkar, but Vivius Lachman is hitting the ball very sweetly. The Australians are happy to concede a single to long off. it up for India just a shade under the 20 overs that is for what a gorgeous shot from VDS Lachman sitting up here watching these bowls on this pitch rather than getting bowling on it thank you Henry my oath it's much better up here but we're on seven for one Cheeky little shot, and they thought about it. The shout. It's Harry Haran. This is not out. It's Nelson. One, one, one for one. It's a shout there. A long way across there, Sachin Tindall. That's a very good shout indeed. You know, it's pitched outside the tram lines. Oh! It's a bit of bounce. That's a good delivery from Hogg. It's impressive okay. delivery. And just uh, just watching that test series here, six for. In Zimbabwe, it's interesting seeing two left arm Chinaman bowlers in operation in the test match. We've got one of them here, Red Hog. Oh, get a terrific World Cup as well. Immediately into his line, outside the off stump. Ten matches in the World Cup, 13 wickets. Three for 46 is best, an average of 24.77. He had a terrific World Cup. He's gone for this one, and don't worry about this. This is out of here. It's gone all the way for half a dozen. Really launched into that one. I think Sachin has decided that he's got to push those mid-on, mid-off fielders back and milk the bowling. And if they come up, he's going to go for it. Didn't quite middle it, but look at the way the ball traveled. Right into the crowd. It's a beautiful free flow of the bat. That follow through that went for six. And as you say, Aaron, he didn't quite get it. Unless they got away with a terrific start up ahead. That's a neat little dab. He's very good at that, Sachin. That was a good stroke. And I was thinking about two and won't get it. 30 meter circle, Simons. Oh, a little turn as well. It's a little bit bad. So careful to push that faster one through. Good feeling from Harvey. And the 50 is up for Vivius Laxman. 50 of 74 balls faced. He's pretty pleased. 
and was doing a useful job for his side. That's his 10th 50 score in one day internationals and pleased he would be. He's in terrific form, he's just complimenting what he achieved. Oh. That's a beauty to finish here. Over the wicket, Brad Hogg. He's played it fine. Matthew Hayden gets around it. Couple of runs. So India brings up the 150. Okay. Nicely played. That's an excellent shot. You get two for it. 157 for one. Oh, he's picked the gap beautifully. That's four. That's a marvellous shot there from Vivian Lakshman on a slow pitch. He managed to hit it in front of square on the offside. Splendid shot. That's majestic, Sanjay. He's playing like a Maharaja there. He's timing the ball beautifully. No time for the fielder at deep point to stop that one. Get a run, moves on to 66, Vives Lakshman. Players wearing black armbands in this one-day international. This is an acknowledgement of the sad demise of Colonel Hemu Adhikari, who was actually one of the coaches that we went through the under-19 stage, national coach for junior level. No more with us. 167 for one. Brad Hawk continues. Nice flight at delivery. Tendulkar calls for two. Won't get it. It's a good delivery. Well flighted delivery. Sanjay is bringing the ball from above the batsman's eyes. What you need to do on the surface is bowl slower. The faster you try to bowl, the easier it gets for the batters. Now this time he was trying to bowl it a little flat. A lot of time there for VVS Lakshman to dispatch it away on the offside to the fence. He just lost control on that ball, Brad Hogg. It's a very short delivery, but the placement was excellent. There was a sweeper cover. He just had to clear that man at extra cover. Just to the left of him, not too much. That sweeper cover would have got around it. So another very good shot from VVS Lakshman. For the pull shot, gone quickly to deep mid wicket. Damien Martin, the fielder. DV Slutson doesn't seem to hit the ball too hard, Sanjay, but it really travels. I think he's got a lovely bat in his hand and uh, he's been timing the ball well. We saw that in the test matches. Started off well in the first one there and he's moved on to 71 here with eight boundaries. That will help Tendulka, who's a little uh, slow at the moment, getting close to his 100. Big shot for leg before. The impact was very much in line. The question was whether it was just splitting outside the legs and Brad Hawk thinks he's got everything in, everything right here. Well, he was, almost. I think that's a very good shout. Yes, Sanjay, it's very difficult for the umpires to give that one out because he was trying to play at the delivery. And then the name is big enough, Sachin Tendulkar. Neil Malanda, the umpire. And I'm very lucky Tendulkar on that occasion. Oh. No wonder Brad Hogg was so distraught. 173 for one for Australia. Starts around the wicket and beats the batsman immediately. This white ball seems to reverse swing. This is what he's done here. The batsman thinking that the ball is going to come into him, moves away. Vivius Lakshman should realize one thing that Bracken doesn't move the ball into the batsman. He doesn't have that ability. Of Lakshman and Tendulkar, it's not going to be easy for the Indian bowlers as well, unless conditions change under the lights. That's good thinking, good run here, and there could be another one. That's a rare sight, poor cricket from the Australians. There was just no need for that throw there from Simons. 
sometimes you do get frustrated now the australian is not getting any wickets here absolutely useless that throw risky work from vbs lakshman will get him too and will keep tendulkar away from the strike who's been in the 90s for a long time now and now in reach 177 they've broken the best uh, partnership on this ground previous best for any wicket was 135 between no jodhsing sidhu and mohammad azharuddin that stands broken today brad hogg yeah, it's just been hit straight down the ground all the way along the carpet lovely stroke from vvs and he's doing the right thing realizes tendulkar is close to the century the vvs luxury has got to pick up the runs a bit of loot from uh, brad hawk good use of speed from uh, vvs luxury he's the fantastic striker of the ball in front of the square and he's got to get on with it again the wrong one the Australian fielding has been excellent. Danny, just to recollect what happened in Chennai, 26.5 overs in their batted. They got 19 fours and a six. And they're looking at the 39th over here, 18 fours and one six. So I think not too many boundaries coming in this next for India. Nine apiece from Tendulkar and Lakshman. Oh, nice. He's got those dancing shoes on. It's beautifully bowled by Hogg. He's prepared to give it some air, give it some flight. That strike rate of Lakshman has got up from around 66 to 73 and a half, but it's Tendulkar's that have slipped back. See, Sachin Tendulkar was striking up near 100. He's around 95, 96. He's now dropped back to 84.3 for obvious reasons. Short. And it's uh, only going to get one. But... The man from Mumbai is on strike, 97, looking for another ton. Well, here will be the crowd, is already getting excited, just a stroke away from his 100. Just four men inside the ring, three on the offside, one on the left side to save the single. And at the moment, happy to deal in singles, he's thinking about two and he's coming back. Well, run. It takes him one short. And he has 34 one day hundreds. Looking for number 35. And he knew. It's two balls left in this over. Turned. And I wonder, he's running up in the middle of the wicket, but also how close he was to being one short. One to get. One ball left in this over. And that's it. The crowd erupt here in Gwalior. Number 35. Fabulous innings from a fabulous player. 35th one day hundred. It's 192 for one. The sixth against Australia. And it's been a fantastic one. It's come at a time when a lot of people didn't realize that Sachin is also a human being can get into a rut and not get enough runs two test matches he not got enough runs and a lot of debate about his form he's still a human god gifted though they're at the top there there's three gentlemen Tendulkar, Gangul and Anwar Mark War he was pretty talented too it's not the quantity of cricket uh, it's also the quality Danny beautifully bowled they asked the question and he's gone He's had to go. Just a little feather. And the crowd silence will tell you they are disappointed. But he got his 100. And now he has to head back to the pavilion. Well, that's a big breakthrough as far as the game's concerned. Tenduka's great innings comes to an end. And Nathan Bracken, the man striking once again, trying to run it down to third man. A faint tickle. And Adam Gilchrist doesn't miss much. A very good low catch. And this is an important wicket as far as the Australians come. It's come at a crucial time. Two down for 192. It's 
so he will get a standing ovation Sachin Tendulkar 40 not on Chennai and 100 here set him up quite well big Nathan Bracken from New South Wales to Ubraj Singh who is a young man that has played 75 matches already a healthy strike rate of around 85 best of 102 not out and an average of 31 and a half Nathan Bracken well this is just short would have been his third wicket this uh, surface just dying here just got rid of Tendulkar in that fashion almost got rid of you Raj Singh was there a bit of reverse swing in it well the right leg there and also a bit on the foot mark just falling short of Adam Gilchrist Last ball, provided it's not a wide or a no ball from Brad Hogg. In the air, and over the top, it's found the gap. Exquisite shot to finish, brings up the 200 for two. Just slightly beaten the flight, but he's happy to go through with it. This provided with a little bit of width, and he knew he had to clear the man and shot extra cover. And Nubaraj is pretty strong in the area. is starting to reverse that little bit now we have um, just under eight overs now to go left arm around two for 27 and it's just starting to reverse it just in the duck in of it and feels it's sort of pace 130s mid 130s to uh, get another one day cap in the air and it could have gone straight the short cover doesn't he picks up a single to Bevan looking for the block hole there Nathan Bracken getting the toe end of your brother thinks that but when you're on the fuller side it's always better because you can have a field set for it the long on and long off in place for your brother thing but for VBS Lakshman you see three men in the offside saving single. Hmm, just decides to uh, whip this on the leg side outside off stump. Just during the T series, Chev, I was just saying how much is a protege of. Again, just fetching this a little bit, Ruvraj. It's a strength, but it's also a downfall. It's so free flowing. And mix out through there. See the bat hit the ball and the ball disappear. But, uh, the ability to reverse swing the ball is uh, a real talent, a real art. And again, another good Yorker from Williams dug out. And the skipper can't prevent the single. Well, he's kind of exhibiting that he's got other talents as well, apart from reverse swinging. Yorkers good seam position and to get it consistently is quite remarkable from Brad Williams Ricky Ponding has led the team extremely well especially in the middle overs and the Indians were just about to get getting about four or five runs in over but towards the depth as bowlers can react to the pressure they have done extremely well Decides to get more back into the length to the left hand of Yuvraj Singh. Just starting to go nicely for the bowlers. It's down the leg side. It'll be a wide and is. And Neil Mallander. Pretty tough game for the bowlers, isn't it? Very difficult to get away. Tried the Yorker again, Williams. And it's got through and pierced the field. And even though Harvey got a hand on it, it'll just pull up. It was a good effort. Harvey have come back 2.13 for 2 
60 years. Just check this. The uh, last seven overs for India. Very Harry. Give a little uh, check of this great effort from Martin. Was he in contact? Not at all. Super effort. Time for a change. The last pass to play. Henry Lawson with Sanjay Mandrake. Just that, again, the depth of the Australian batting just tears at you. Very intimidatingly. Great work again in the field. Not too high? No, I don't think so. It's going to be above your waist to be an overall, and uh, it, was, it was there or thereabouts, but it's to be above your waist. It's, we'll get the side on. No, certainly not, not above, but you've always got to look for that extra single if you're a batsman. Another one. This is the perfect height to put away. Gets a couple of runs. Score moves on to 219 for two. Six overs to go. You've brought Singh on strike. Oh, that's a glorious hit. It's got the height and sure it's got the distance as well. Arms go up in the air. That's a sheer gift of you browsing of hitting the ball. Only the second six of this innings. That's a pure piece of hitting. It's like the baseball going over the home run fence. Williams cranked it up for the next ball. He wasn't very pleased. But hit the six from fast bowls generally aren't. Didn't quite middle it as well as he would have liked. So I, the moment he hit, he was looking to run for it. But eventually when you get that height on the ball, there's that breeze to go with it. The generally just carries over the rope. Not a big ground, this uh, the Roop Singh Stadium. But a good comeback. The next ball was at 142 Ks per hour for Williams. And this is a very important part of the game. If India could get away with some more big hitting, get that score more like 270 to 80 or beyond, they were much more comfortable if Australia can bowl well, feel well. Maybe take a couple of wickets now and then that'll hold the scoring rate. They have to chase 250. It's a very different ball game, so a very important last five and a half overs here. It's gone fine and quick. That's another four. Another good over for Williams. Nothing too majorly wrong with the two balls that went for runs. The six and four. Those ten runs will matter a lot. Williams will consider himself unlucky, however, this is a very wide delivery. Plenty of new roads seem plenty of width to work with him, and he got away with the bottom edge. Yes, good shot, young man. Well bowled. Got to exchange his batsmen and bowlers, have all the time. Oh, what a shot that is. One bounce into the fence. It's just like a missile. Oh, nobody's hurt. That is the shot of the innings. That is a terrific shot. Slow ball from Williams. Down to 118 chaos. One bounce over the extra cover fence. Oh, to generate that sort of power on the offside takes a, a, a particular unique skill. That, for me, is the best shot of the innings easily. And if someone beats that through this whole TVS series, I'll be very surprised. This is a great over for India. Three fours and a six. 237 for two.
umpire signaled that he has a leg bar. He was quite right. It's gone quickly to the boundary, and the reason the spell may have come off the bat, it wasn't. Trying to get it full right up there was Ian Harvey. A dot ball. Chris has gone for the helmet. Well, that was a bit of luck for Australia because it came off the middle of the bat. But... And that's another one. That's just glutton for four. This is great batting. 50 runs partnership comes up. That's a terrific shot. Indian Express, this went like a freight train. Oh. Imperious. Oh. Here goes another one. He's gone quickly up the outfield. Desperate lunge there by Williams. Can't stop another four of the Yuvraj Singh's blade. He's racing away. There is the smash through extra cover, and here's a deflection. Contrast in styles, same result. Five fours and a six in 11 balls, Ian Harvey round the wicket. 2.46 for two. On a good length, they'll start making defend back up the ground. Australia just wants some dot balls at the moment. There it is. 100 for Vivius Luxman. His second one day 100. And I guess it's back to back 100 for him against Australia. The last one was at Goa in the final one day against the same side. Another tremendous innings to carry his form from the test matches into the one day games. Just the nine fours in that, but uh, it always comes to, as a surprise to Australian followers of the game when uh, this man is not in more one-day games. The second one was of Tendulkar when he came back for the second spell. Just wonder whether that was uh, much closer than he thought it was. Direct hit. We'll have a look. Simon's spies, and that would have been out. BVS uh, a little bit weary after 40, well, almost 47 overs at the crease. Came in the first over. I mean, if Rinder Sawag was caught at first slip, just feeling the pinch at the moment. Good delivery, gets the applause of the wicket keeper. Dot ball, invaluable the situation. Very difficult to play. Again, sweetly timed. Michael Bevan will get around the wicket. Don't talk the team too much. And the intent on picking up the two years to come back for the third. I don't think we're serious about it. Let's see. Oh, it does bobble on him, doesn't it? Unusual in this outfield. It, it, it's a very, very good surface. We just got that one wrong. It was looking up quickly to see if they were taking the second. Got to concentrate all the time. That wouldn't be happy. They probably prefer to bowl.
os, 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 os. And again, yeah! is struggling. And for the second time, Vivian Lakshman has been struggling to gain the crease. As you said, for a really late. And this time, the Australians don't miss. Had a shy earlier, missed. But this time, it's a direct hit. The Australians are celebrating. The umpire has called for the TV replay to confirm this. Simon throws. He's on the edge of the circle. He knows there's a play on. Just out, you know, Malibu thought so, he went for the third umpire. In any case, and that will be on your way. Well played, Vivius has been tremendous innings. Yeah, time to get some fresh legs off. Mohamed Kev would be the likely candidate. As we need to take another look at the director, Andrew Sanders. We're missing two times in a row. Directed. Always you find the batsman struggling. Second one day hundred for Vivian Lakshman as he gets a standing ovation. 102 and India 256 for three. Well, I'm shocked to say the least to see Ajit Agarkar walking in. Mohamed Kaif would have been the obvious choice with not too many balls to go. Quick runner between the wicket can talk the ball as well. Agarkar can do the same and make me eat my words. 48 overs gone, 261 for three. Always going That's the perfect delivery to get off the mark with. The low full toss outside off stump. He just carries on your breath saying, these are fantastic cricketing shots. Could they have asked for more? Forty-four from thirty-two. Well you can't bowl out there. William should be around the wicket, bracket going for the yoga and didn't quite get it right. Meanwhile, this man is on fire. There he goes again. He's going to get out. Yes, got in the deep. Again, looking to hit a big one as any batsman would in this situation. Andrew Simons in action after a direct hit run out. Takes a simple catch in the deep. The end of Yuvraj Singh. An inning that promised a lot and, well, it was an inning that made the difference, maybe. A little unlucky here. Yuvraj <laughs> Singh got that outside off stump in his hitting zone. Should have gone offside and tried to drag it across to the leg side. Didn't quite get it, but that is an immensely valuable innings in the context of this game. Great strike rate. Well struck. 264 for four. Strike with the huge backlift. He gets another four. Well, trying to find the Yorkers are the Australian bowlers. They're ending up as juicy full tosses at the moment for the Indian batsmen. And India heading towards 270. This is well put away. The rates is a very poor piece of bowling. Four legs up inside the circle. The one place you do not want to bowl it is full on about leg stuff. Especially about shin high. Number 11 will put those away. Maybe Williams should be aiming for the bottom of off stump at the worst, if not missing off stump. That's not a bad ploy at all. Can't get the Yorker in the right place. And all the short ball these days in one day cricket. You've got saying, looking to hit another big one. It was a full toss. Easy catch for Simons. A uh, pity in a way because Juvraj was striking the ball so cleanly. But uh, didn't get much of that one. What an inning this is turning out to be. He's played four balls, with two boundaries, and a couple. 
very quickly has moved on to 10. Gee, I'm glad I didn't agree with CNJ's summation of Ajit Agarka coming to the wicket, even though I did agree with it. Last over of the innings for Bracken. It's another full toss, and it's put away again for a four. Things just not going Australia's way in the last 10 overs. Mostly because they're bowling poorly. Bracken goes to Yorker again, but that is nowhere near it. Gaga picks the gap beautifully. There's a man out on the deep cover fence. So he doesn't want to hit it too straight. Places it well. Amy Martin can't get it. Look right. The better Yorker. Singh have made a big difference to the Indian one day team. You're grasping again. Playing a gem of an innings. 44 of 33 balls. And the genius just marches on. He's come out to rule. He's come out to rule the game. The strike rate has just jumped up to 250. This is another great shot. Attempted York. It doesn't quite get there, but one, two, two bounces over the extra colour fence. Not sure what he's got in that back, but look at this. I'm not sure if he got that actually in the middle. Mohamed Gaff is the cricket in the business. He would have expected him to come back for the second. It was a direct hit. But boy, he's lightning between the wickets. He's always coming back for two. The guy is not so sure. Kate turns and goes. He doesn't wait. So the keeper's end may have been a problem. He's very sharp. Well, what a turnaround this has been. India are looking to get to 250. This is the last ball of the innings. Yoko, it's gone up in the air. He'll be caught. But that's wicked gone for Ajit Agarkar. But after a fantastic innings. So the score remains on 284. The 50 overs have been bowled just after the schedule closed with Ajit Agarkar getting 22 of 10 balls about a regulation score we just watched the final wicket filling off the last ball of the 50th over and India, India 50 overs after winning the toss getting 284 for 5 yeah I think in the end India have got well a good total they'll feel very comfortable with this the pitch will hold the key whether the ball gets wet whether the dew helps the ball to come onto the bat while batting 284 is a good total on the board, batting for Kent. Wickets for 50 overs. And it looks like we'll take first. Well, the normal opening partnership. Adam Gilchrist and Matthew Hayden. And Hayden's average in this game climbs all the time. Zahi come in. Get a bit of a swing. Here we go. And Gilchrist away immediately. And that ball will pick up some moisture if it does get to the boundary, and it doesn't. Well, that's amazing. It is a heavy outfield, but that's just the way the Australian openers play. They're really on the button. First ball, got into a terrific position, just placed it. Sure, Sachin appreciated the chase, first ball. Oh, this isn't. Full swing. It's going to be a problem that the batsman will have to contend with. No ball. Driven. Now, I'm not going to call this to the boundary because the outfield seems to slow down a great deal. Oh, good pick up. Great pick up slide. Sun up this morning. Just trying to get rid of the insects. Yes, yes, yes. Just again. Horses on the leg side. Just a single this time. Now, you'd imagine they'd put him in a spot where he wouldn't have to chase too much. Those overs are also bowled at the net. Pretty good with the old ball as well. Gilchrist drives, beats the field. Now, you've got to run everything down here tonight. 
and that one pulls up as well. Great chase, and it'll come away. Everything will have to be chased absolutely to the fence. If at all, the, the wicket and the outfield, both of them will have slowed down. It's a lush outfield, but the dew on it could also help slow it down even further. Lucas drives off the back foot. Now, will this go for four? Struck it for me. I don't think it'll make it again, will it? Yes, just. Now, this is a wonderful exhibition on how these two really attacked the bowling. It wasn't that short. Both of them are very powerfully built. Terrific balance. Just played through the line. It's a back foot drive. Just take a look at it. Good back lift. And it's not as though he's really banging the ball to all parts of the ground. He's just playing authentic cricket shots. Yeah. This one beats the bench. Close in on the leg side. This definitely won't go for four. Well, Hayden fight, fight. and Gilchrist Curry for three. No. They settle for two and Australia are off to a flyer. 18 for no wicket. That's on the leg start, but Hayden doesn't miss those opportunities. But once again, it won't go for four and they settle for two again. And with all this running, as Aaron is alluding to, Adam Gilchrist has spent 50 overs keeping. Well, that was close. Well, that was sure enough to play this shot. That's exactly what he's got to do. He's just got to keep it around there, frustrate Hayden and Gilchrist, because they know that they've got to get away to a flyer. Didn't quite get up as much as he expected also. And to put this 283 total in perspective, Hayden sits off the single, takes it. Gilchrist responds a little late. Re-estimate because of the hip outfield. It requires some doing. Hayden goes with a shot. To free his arms, so just keep it straight. Slightly short. There's long length stuff, he's away, it's in the air, this might go all the way, well, I saw that live, but I'm not sure if that went over or not, landed just about the road, Neil Mallander, well he says six, so the fieldsman down there, Harbour and Singh, he wants to phone someone, probably Manny Singh, because he's always on the phone, he's not sure, I think he's saying that you better consult the third empire, that went many a mile in the sky didn't get quite the distance he wanted but I think it's still carried all the way but yeah I think it bounced well Aaron I've seen the same replay as you I think the second one was clearer than the first that landed in well, it's four yeah I've it's right near that marker there, the, the flag, and it's, it was hard to pick it up from the other replay, but that has just landed inside, and so Neil Mallander withdraws the six call, gives it four, and Harbour's just thinking, saying, well, I didn't see it. They got the call. This time again, Hook is aiming on the offside, and they'll probably pick up just a couple. 29 for no. Hayden doesn't beat the short mid wicket. That's the short mid wicket fielder Lakshman who got a wonderful 100 today. Got a few up in the 143 here. Certainly capable of good pace. Yes. And that longish delivery stride doesn't help either. He's got to brace those knees. For the front knee, he's got to make sure that he doesn't have a very wide sort of reach out a lot more. Yes. 
goes the York, it doesn't quite come off. Sachin has the chase. Again. That's the problem with attempting the York in the first 15. Didn't quite time it, Gilchrist, and yet he got two for it. Relatively more useful. That was in the air for a while. Cries of despair from the bowl, the keeper and the crowd. And he's just passed. The right hand may not have carried, but... He can try to force the ball that wasn't there to be hit in that direction. Oh, nearly. And a good over so far from Akaka. And this one heaved away over mid-wicket. One, two, three. Ball bounces will give it. Gilchrist not waiting for a bad ball to be bowled, going after some good stuff. That is almost predetermined. Well, as though he was waiting on the back foot. The weight already resting on the back foot. Just picked it up so beautifully. It wasn't that short. That's why he played it with almost a straightish bat. And to the right of where mid-wicket might have been. Great shot. Very, very dangerous cricketer, this man. This time he drives, gets to the gap and a dive, misses. This will be another boundary to finish the over. And good finish for Gilchrist. Australia 44 for none. Thirty-one of seventeen balls, which has allowed Matthew Hayden to just have a good look in the test series as well and in this one day tournament that includes the Australian bowlers in this match. That is uh, well nicely timed and the gap was pierced perfectly by Matthew Hayden on the turn throw, but comfortable three runs shy at the wicket keeper's end after thinking of trying at the bowling end. Much closer, but again, drifting onto his pads. Not too many men around the leg side area. <laughs> and that's what he does to all bowlers from around the world. Looks for that short arm pull shot, even to good balls. Such a dangerous player. It's strike rate 183.3. Remarkable. Plays over Western Australia, so most of his games coming in third. And they expect the extra bounce in third, but here, in spite of the lack of bounce, he is able to adjust his shots. It was hit so hard to the captain. This ricochet off his knees brings up the 50 for Australia. Harbhajan, we saw Rahul Dravid, even Tendulkar. You know, that makes me wonder, we've been talking about teams batting first under lights, winning matches. Now, wet ball is never a help for the bowling side. Go no! start for that, that's a beauty. That's a good start. Playing for the turn, which wasn't there. Another suggestion that Conditions are changing here. The ball just skid through. That could be dangerous had the throw been accurate. But even a good throw from Dravid. Oh, very wide. Would have been much, much closer. What it looks. Bit of hesitation, as Sanjay was saying. Finally decided to go for it. Uh, these overs are going to be interesting. The Australians have had a good look at the spinners. Pitching outside the leg stump by a long way. Can't be given out. And Harbhajan knows the line that he's bowling. I wonder why he's appealed for this. We have only limited success. Uh, just a shot of Tendulkar. Tendulkar decided to back down a little bit because the bounce was going to be awkward for him. Was uh, looking for a big shot, Matthew Hayden. 
Well, the signs are good for India. It's trying to take charge of Harbhajan. Just lucky there, Matthew Hayden, not timing it well at all. Lot of inside edge, and Tendulkar doing extremely well to save three runs there. The top spinner to bounce. That's when, as one of his uh, favorite shots, there's a stunned silence. It deserved more than that. Really will destroy the bowler's confidence, going down on his knees, hitting the sweetest thought of the bat. And Anil Kumble, in spite of being on the fence, had no chance at all. The size is 68 yards, but that doesn't matter. He's got to 44. A bit too late, the direct hit. Batsman comfortably in. It's a deep batting order. Harbhajan Singh does well this time. There's a boundary picked up earlier through that gap. Good effort there by Harbhajan. In fact, he just finished over and he's feeling at a very crucial position for Anil Kumble at mid-off. Good diving effort. The Indians have been good on the field. Parthi Patel. Should I appeal for this one? Beaten by the length. Looking for the three, but it was an over pitch delivery. That is always a much better length to bowl somebody who's going to sweep against you. Much fuller. He will be forced into playing in front of the square on the offside. Once again, good running between the wickets. Normally, you'll find the sweep shots played off a length. Daniel Kumble doing the right thing by keeping it within the stump area and much fuller. Supposedly there to save the singles. They've picked up the runs comfortably. Yeah. The odd boundary coming from Adam Gilchrist. Here's another example of Yuvrat Singh, I think it is, at mid-on. He was out there to save the single ball, was hit pretty firmly to him. Still a single possible. They've been very close. One of the better fielders in the Indian team, Yuvrat Singh. I think that would have been gone. Had it been a direct hit, I think Gilchrist would have walked. Harbhajan will continue. 68 without loss, and that's a wide call. Yeah! Now the dancing shoes are on, and a missed opportunity straight away in this new over. 69 without loss. I think he's getting up early, and the gloves, the position of the fingers has to be, has to face the ground. Whereas he's trying to grab that one, you never get it in his gloves. Never get it in his gloves if his fingers are pointing towards the bowler. And then he suddenly lost his way. Just a comfortable single out of the boundary. Well, he was at home and he had mum and uh, the sister and the whole family there supporting him. I think uh, that's right. Yes, yes. A gentle toss. Now, uh, I'll get there and won't. Very rush outfield here. Now he's heard Ian Smith. And his fingers pointing down, staying down. Say so just a little bit upright. Behind the stumps. Yeah. Oh, a little mix up. Well fielded. Great opportunity. 75 without loss. So the stroke play becomes difficult because the ball starts keeping low. Another controlled shot by Gilchrist. He's just so happy to work it off his hip. Proud of shell shot. Just start to have a little ripple of applause here. And again, there's a the top edge. Chance on. But he's dropped it. Zahir Khan made good ground, but could not hold on to it. Well, how are you going to win? You miss a stumping, you drop a catch, and that too of Adam Gilchrist. Uh, I don't think he saw the ball really, he really judged it too well. The catch was there in the offing. Did he slip because of the dew? The anguish on the bowler's face says it all. Habajan Singh about to start a new over. Oh! This one's kept a little low. Change in voice. 
and it'll be Laxman Shivarana Krishnan and Henry Lawson. Thank you, Daniel Morrison. Almost a runner ball Australia now need to win this game, so that's six and over. It hasn't been easy against the slower bowlers. Aiden comes back for two. This might be close, but now he turns well. For a moment there, I thought he was in trouble. And the Australians are just starting to feel the pinch. Then a full toss comes along, but only put away for a single to oh the sea wag. But after a rapid fire start, uh, the Indians have dragged the run rate back. It's the 100 partnership between these two left handed openers. Bill Chris, the senior partner at this moment. And that should be close. Maybe pitched outside leg stump. And that's Salvage's problem bowling right um, over to a left hand batsman. How often the ball will pitch outside leg stump. We'll get another look at it here. Now it pitched on the stumps, but that's missing off. This time Gilchrist goes in the air, beats the close fielder and places that perfectly between the two outfielders. So the Aussies becoming a little frustrated. Some good slow bowling. Chris decides it's time to make a move. Wasn't off the meat of the bat. But his eyes light up every time he sees the ball marginally shot. And he does them, doesn't miss them. This one's well outside, leg stump and swept away for another boundary, so the shackles have been broken. A wistful look from Sachin Tendulkar, but that was not a good delivery, well outside, leg stump, giving Gilchrist a free hit. Well, that's his strength. The onside, the lap stop, and the shots over the wicket. Way outside, leg stump. In fact, there was a bit of drift towards uh, the pads of Adam Gilchrist. He knew it was a safe shot to play. Like the short mid wicket is moving towards the squaring umpire. Full toss, and this only will go for four despite the wet outfield. And that's broken chain of singles of Harbush and Singh. Just the eighth boundary in uh, the Australian innings, and the first one for Matthew Hayden. Back, uh, one the top hand comes off the bat just the bottom hand to go through with it he's waited for a long time to pick up his first boundary <laughs> beats the outside edge 119 for no loss One scoots inside Matt Hayden's back. Aiming for a little spin, perhaps. We haven't seen too much spin. We haven't seen too much seam. We've seen a lot of batting. 1150 partnerships, 800 partnerships in 45 games. This one swept away in the air and safe. Wow, did that travel. Cash was the call from Sachin Tendulkar. Was in the air, but the placement was excellent. The sides are shot 68 yards, as I mentioned earlier, and if you find the gap and you strike them hard, very, very difficult player to bowl to. No margin for error. We'll be playing the day games. And all the matches that Indians are involved in against New Zealand or Australia, it's going to be day-night affairs. Still even Stevens. That will be for a classic cover drive. This is desperate situation for India. They need a wicket very badly here. Well, 
first one cracked back almost straight through him. And he's won it. He's won it. That's the breakthrough the Indians were looking at. And Zahir Khan has done it. He's broken a big partnership. And what a wicket to get. Kill Chris, the danger man. Zahir Khan has challenged Gilchrist Chris and come out the winner. This is good captaincy, this is good bowling. Let's start there straight. Gil Chris tries to hit it over mid wicket instead of putting it in at long on or mid on or mid off and loses that battle. But still, a fine innings, 83 off 79. Australia lose their first wicket at 132. Zahir Khan has got back into a spell and he provides the breakthrough. That brings in Ricky Ponting, the Australian captain. Getting rid of. Gilchrist on 83 of 79 balls. Crowd is now getting behind the bowler. Full length delivery, pretty straight. And looking to heave it on the leg side for a big one. Adam Gilchrist. He misses the bonus scores. Knocking the middle stamp back. And not this time, the skip has gone, the leading edge. Well, hasn't the mood changed? All of a sudden, they've picked up two. You get one, you get two in this game. Funny things can happen. It's just dragged down a little bit short. Ponting thought, OK, I'll punch this back past the bowler. And just uh, cue ended it right near the base of his blade. And the simplest of catches for the bowler. Damon Watton has walked in at number four. 127 matches, so plenty of one-day experience for this man. He's a class act. 400, the strike rate, touching 80. Cotton bowl by Anil Kumle for two. He's had a good day so far, or a good night so far, Anil Kumle. Taken on the full, India, and an all-out attack, and that's terrible. It's got Damon Martin off the mark. Anil Kumle would not be pleased at all. Yuvraj Singh, second mistake in a very short space of time. There was that overthrow earlier. Well, I think, yes, uh, Ricky Ponting might think it's a bit too early to play this kind of a shot without understanding the pace of the pitch. 6.30 runs per over. Should be a leg by. And be there for uh, a half an hour. He's been there only eight minutes. This time he gets him, and he makes amends. Different bowler, the same batter. But he can see the delight on Rahul Dravid's face. He knows he's got the big one. Anil Kumble, a little slow in the air, inviting the batsman to step out. Played for the spin, which wasn't there. And Parthi Patel this time getting it right. What a big wicket that is. And had a great time. Sing long. First one. That he needs to go on. He needs to uh, be there in the 45th over for his team. He's got set, he's got a start. He's been there since the start of this innings. Two new batters. Andrew Simons, the big fella. Yes, yes. Now he can hit the ball very hard. Seen the two openers go. But this fella, now they've seen him a little bit for Gloucestershire. And now for Australia. Great at the moment, Danny, 6.45. I think India has a great chance now to come back, make things very difficult. With a strong man, powerful hitter, and hence the strike rate very impressive. But I think now India has a great chance, really, to get into a dominating position with new batsmen taking some time out there in the middle. Got a match on our hands now. 28 overs gone, 141 for three. Good start. Shot delivery attempted by Zahir Khan. Got into no position, Andrew Simons. <laughs> well, I've got to have a, a chuckle to myself here because he thought about the pull shot and then just skidded on from left arm round the wicket. And it's an ambitious shot so early on in the innings. Didn't bounce. 
and could have uh, been a little nasty as it was. It just took him on the thigh pad and uh, didn't hit him flush in the box, which can be, uh, well, a little disconcerting. A big shot for leg before. Given. A very stylish decision from Hari Haran. But now the Indians are really storming back into this match. They've picked up the fourth wicket with Andrew Simons just struggling to get used to the atmosphere out there. The replay would be interesting. Well, that's what I'm waiting for. Left arm around, it's pitched outside. Oh, I think that's uh, pretty ambitious. It's gone in favour of the bowler, and I think the batsman has every reason to be aggrieved. It's pitched outside, his left arm round to a right-hander, and he's a lucky man. He's unlucky, Simons. He's gone for one. It's 141 for four. Zahir Khan over the wicket to Michael Bevan, who's just faced the ball. Have a look at it, round the wicket. I just wonder, it's a bit blurred there at the moment. The impact is on leg stump. And if you're expecting the ball to sort of curve back into the right-hander, then yes, uh, there is a good shot on that one. the gap glorious shot to get a four Indians looking to attack so empty spaces in the outfield and a hush silence again I think I noticed about this shot just watch this balance is beautiful but also the rooster tail of the ball with the Jew behind it Anil Kumle has been outstanding but he's in his eighth over Taking a the risk there, Martin. Particularly the Kumblay, who you've got to treat as an off-spinner. Skids on and comes through. It's just held its line and just started to tail back into off-stump. Just on that, 147 for four. But the first wicket didn't fall to 132. And then 135, 140, and 141. And it's time for Ajit Agarkar to get into the groove and mount the pressure up on the Australians. Pull down for 148. This field, bad bounce, I think. Won't blame the fields for that. Looks like he got a bad hop. Say he chases hard. There's an intensity in the field. He's a win of 117 balls. Four wickets down. That's a major blow, as far as the Australians are concerned. A bit of concern in the faces of uh, the Australian camp. They'd like to stay positive. Two good batsmen out there in the middle. Came in margin. And that's not the line to bowl with an Indian mark. Really important to feel out there. But he's a very, very good player on the offside. Bevius Luxman had to cover quite a bit of distance there. BVS, we feel a bit weary at this time of the evening. After his lengthy hundred. Here's an interesting change. Render Saywag on. The Australians take up the cudgels. Oh. Yep. Two new batsmen, yeah. so he know they Edged away, and that may be a boundary. Unlucky for Saywag, lucky for Bevan. Has the tendency to ball a lot quicker. We're in the Sivag, so having a slash at it, Michael Bevan. Waited for the ball to come on to him, that's why it's gone very fine. Slash, slash hard, and Sivag is disappointed. Ajit Tagaka bowls to Damien Martin and bowls poorly. Bowls on his leg stump. And much as Sachin Tendulkar did with great effect during the Indian innings. It's not just power that gets you the boundaries, it's neat deflections as well. The worst thing for a bowler, going for a boundary at the first ball. And these are crucial overs. Team in Martin is not the kind of player who's going to let these go. He's going to make them count. Playing 
for the turn. The ball is slightly damp, and that would help the ball grip onto the surface in turn. It might get on. Certainly skidding through straight, no turn. However, maybe he picks up a bonus signal. Now, this is the extra ball in the over for the no ball. Will it cost? Yeah. Stop it! Well, if that was a catch, we'll get back to that. It's 169 for four. in the crowd, clearly a buck ball, but Verinda Silva trying to stop the single because he bowled a no ball earlier. Didn't want that to be expensive to go for a boundary at the last delivery. Good effort from him. Six at the moment. has picked up a very crucial wicket for the Indians. Martin's trying to hit this square and it's just straight. Oh, that's halfway up middle stop. Martin electing to play the wrong shot. They should have gone the big shots off Slaywag. They try to push him out and Martin's played the penalty on 76 for five. Ian Harvey, the new man in. The five wickets down for Australia, and this might be an important innings in his life. 31 years of age, 57 matches, an average of 18.47. And Sivar, the man striking there. Hold on! He gets off the mark straight away, but he's entitled to celebrate. He's to take a very important wicket. the part-timer doing a wonderful job. This could well change the match for India. The crowds have been quiet since Australia started batting, but now they're on the feet. And why not? Man with the golden arm. Verinda Savard has been the star off the pads, but knocking the timber once again. That's a lovely sound to hear for anybody, and Savard is delighted. Two wickets in one over. Can't expect anything better from this man. Michael Devon gone for 18. It's 177 for six. Happy faces. And Walia Hogg is going to have to play some extravagant shots. He didn't get anywhere close to the Indian total. 283 for five. It was simply outstanding towards the end. Two spinners bowling. Not on! They're over very quickly. Those aren't working, those half and halves. Oops! Away you go. Be careful here. It was due about in Gwalior. Do yourself a mischief. Just do your ankle or pop a calf. Not necessarily guided by bowling. Ah! So there was another one. And again, a very similar distance of ball skidding through, staying low. And another Australian batsman a little late on that shot. On that occasion, he missed it by at least six inches. Very much over the ball than he should have been. So another wicket gone, the seventh for India. Sachin Tindall gets in the act. Look, look at it, only halfway up the middle stump. And isn't he delighted? Uh, the big huddle of the boys, they've got in close, smiles all around. They are fizzing in, Harvey is out for four. It's 185 for seven. Andy Mickle on strike. Another straight delivery from Sachin Tendulkar. The number nine batsman in for Australia. There's an appeal for stumping there. Don't think the fielder at point, who was Yvra Singh, who had a good look at it, is too excited. That will tell you a bit about what the verdict could be from the third umpire. And the keeper himself, he wasn't that fussed about it. Just in the air. And that 
was safe. He's got it down just in time. Must be a good angle. Has uh, definitely got the toe planted at that point there when the bail comes off. He'll get the green light and he'll be able to resume. I don't know, you just think possibly they could have gone straight. If they're going to go big, look to go back over the bowler's head. He goes through cover point this time. So it hasn't bounced very much. It's not going to. Come back for two. That's good running. Sloppy fielding in the deep. Just uh, the shorter men, the skinnier. This man will have the expectation of trying to knock over, uh, especially one of these batsmen, the tail enders, and he bowls so beautifully to them. Confidence of getting the ball just to drift a little bit in and then skid on. And I'll come late. Play some unorthodox strokes. That's Bradley Hogg. Just like that. Well, the Indians doing the smart thing, keeping the length a little short, encouraging the Australian to stay on the back foot. Another skid up. He's gone for this slog, the old fashioned slog over mid wicket. Manages to find you, Rod Singh, who's out there to save the single very close to the bat of the square leg. He's gone clean with us. Out of here. That has gone all the way for the maximum. Well, I think the attempt here was to get into the block hole. He knew the intentions of the batsman was to go for the big one. So, Virendra Sehwag really looking to pitch it right up so that the elevation wasn't possible. But he converted that into a full toss. Strong lad, Andy Bickle. This time shortening the length. As far as Australia is concerned, the fight is still on. So a left-hander on strike. Nervous moments there for Anil Kumble for a moment, he thought. Bit of a hesitation to start with, eventually a safe single. Now he's a perfectionist and a run miser with uh, his bowling. Hates to give away runs. out for leg before this time Harry Aaron says no pretty straight delivery bad thrust in the line of the ball interesting replay this pitches outside he's got a good stride in Bickle worth a shout but certainly uh, got a big stride in or in the say wag uh, that's not a big day with the bat but he's got more wickets and runs Trying to stay in the game, knocked over a couple of important players. Now oh, he's back on rolling to, to Bradley Hogg and for a change, dropped it short and wide. The forwards look for two, they come back, Bickle will have to hurry, Hogg will have to hurry. From where I'm sitting here, he looks reasonably safe. It's a long throw from out there at mid-off. Harry Haran has uh, brought the third umpire into play. He's uh, had a little bit of work today. Good throw from Zahir Khan. And Hogg gets in reasonably easily. He's a fairly sharp guy between the stumps. Abhijan Singh is on to complete his spell and the first one's a bit dusty. It's pulled away to mid-wicket fence, but there's plenty of protection out there. Ah! Odd comes back for the second. I think Patel cleans up, which was a very good throw. It, it came low to him, but it was from the fence. Sajid Agar covered a lot of ground there, but that throw took a lot of time uh, to reach the wicketkeeper. Harbhajan Singh has always done well under Saurav Ganguly. That one 
balance hits straight down the ground, but looks out the fieldsman. Which begs the question, of course, is Sarah Ganguly out with an injury? Was he expected back, Manny? He's probably uh, trying to be right for the Test Minutes tour to Australia. And that'll be out. Bat was in the air. Harry Aran goes for the third. Man, Meninder Singh's got the finger up, but I agree with him. And Patel, Patel, who missed one early on, and uh, we thought that might be an expensive miss. Has picked up one stumping, and we believe this might be the second. That's well done by Pati Patel. He was in a lovely position to collect that ball, and there it is. That's the eighth wicket down for Australia. Well done, Pati Patel. After missing that stumping earlier, I thought that he was losing his touch, but no, he's not. That's a lovely piece of work from Pati Patel. And that's the end of Brad Hogg. Oh, Hogg goes for 29, 225 for eight. Obviously, you seen the Brad Williams. First of all, he faces and he edges it out. And we've got a couple of very fortunate runs. Zahir Khan has the chase, picks up and throws in one movement, and holds him to two. And Australia avoid losing the bonus point with that edge. I think his spell in the middle was a key one for India tonight. That's just one again to the outfield. Uh, that is the end of Harbison and Singh's. Indians have really played some good cricket for Sachin Tendulkar and BBS Lakshman with the bat. And he's gone for it. Didn't time it too well. And what a great catch. What a lovely catch that was. He's ran about 20 yards from the inside circle. And that's Mohammed Khan. He's one of the best fielders in the Indian team. And what a beauty that was. Catches in the outfield do not come any better than this. This is a high ball. He's got to turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paces. That's about 25 metres over your shoulder, falling away from it. It's hard to describe just how difficult that catch is. 2.29 for nine. Trip to the inning, to the wicket, not not out. Brad Williams gets out, that'll remain his best score. He tries to reach one, it doesn't swing back, and it's a wide roll. Williams again edges. Like, like a good tail ender. Don't use the middle, just use the edges. Perhaps he wants to uh, badge a chance of picking up a wicket. Yeah, I can understand that. with the bat just really got the team going when it was getting bogged down a little summary India finishing on top 283 for 5